Here we are, another video, another five and five. Out comes the uh, timer. Five minutes. Let's go. Lee Morgan, uh, an amazing, amazing talent. Obviously died too young. If you haven't checked out the documentary called I Called Him Morgan, please check it out. Um, it really inspired me to revisit a lot of Lee Morgan and um, really make more of an effort to get some more of his records. Um, this is a video where I only have five, so I'm not going to be an expert and tell you that you know these are the essential ones, but these are five Lee Morgans I have, and I enjoy every single one of them. Um, we'll start with the classic, um, Catchy as Hell. This is a good place to start with Lee Morgan, or probably any Blue Note, really, I would say. Um, this is a, a reissue of some sort. Um, yeah, the Sidewinder. Absolutely wonderful. Um, good old Joe Henderson on here, too. Wonderful. I love that cover. I felt this was one of the covers I fell in love with and I really started discovering Blue Note years ago. Um, I just think it's a fantastic use of typography. Um, we'll go with the Rump Roller. I love this album cover. In fact, I've got a t-shirt. I should be wearing it with this on the cover. Um, I really, I, there's two people on this record that I don't know too well. There's Ronnie Matthews and Victor Sproles who play bass and piano respectively. Um, what I really like about this trip, this album, it's got a bit, a bit more funkiness, or uh, it's not funky, but it's kind of groovy or something going on with it. Uh, there's a, a track called Desert Moonlight, and I think Eclipso is the one that's got kind of a really nice groove going on here. Um, yeah, it's 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 definitely a people friendly jazz record, but it's just really well done and really really clean and classic and fantastic. <laughs> Lots of uh, describing words in these videos. Uh, I can't do an order of these. Uh, this is one that I really love. Uh, it's a slightly uh, later Lee Morgan one. This is um, basically recorded, I think, when he was uh, in his heroin addiction or around around the time of it. It was taking hold. Uh, he wrote the track Speedball, uh, which is, if you can imagine, based on the title, you probably know what that's about. Um, obviously a later Blue Note, uh, but this is absolute fire. He's really starting to push here. And uh, the speed he's playing with and the grooves he's playing um, is fantastic. But yeah, I would recommend checking the track out, Speedball, that would give you a... Um... Interesting. What pressing is this? this? Oh, this is an 83 pressing. There we go. Oh, it's a Japanese. It's a Japanese 83 pressing. I did not know that. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Uh, the Gigolo, Lee Morgan, love it. There's there's many Lee Morgan records that I would like to get and should have. Um, many, many classics that I just haven't got around to. Um, oh, I can't decide between these ones. I'm, I'm going to put this one next, uh, one that eluded me for many, many years. I finally found it last year. One of the highlights of the year for me in record collecting. Um, Lee Morgan, Search for the Blue Land. Uh, Blue Land. Blue Label, New Land. Uh, I got this for an absolute steal. Uh, I think this is an amazing record. The, the first track there is spiritual jazz. You know, this isn't a, a spiritual blue note opener. It's just absolutely wonderful. It just has so much power and feeling and groove to it. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's wonderful. Um, when you've got Wayne Shorter, Grant Green, Herbie Hancock, Reggie Workman, Billy Higgins, and Lee, that is a lineup and a half, isn't it? Um, yeah. Super cool. Super cool. Uh, yeah, I love this record. I love the, absolutely love this album cover too. Uh, I think it's an, an absolutely iconic uh, Blue Note cover. Okay, and then number one. Possibly the one that had the most impact in, in terms of like making my jaw drop and knocking my head off is uh, this one here, Live at the Lighthouse. Now this is one that I only discovered after watching that I called him Morgan documentary. 50 seconds to go. Um, and this is Lee sort of coming back really refreshed um, after kicking the addiction. Um, he has a really interesting lineup here. Uh, Lee Morgan, Benny Maupin, Harold Mabern, Jamie Merritt, and Mickey Roca 